Eric Mezik after 30 hours. The family simply said they couldn't give up and set out to search the largest estuary in the country. Last Tuesday, a devoted husband and father of two plummeted over the Chesapeake Bay Bridge Tunnel into the water. His family put up a $10,000 reward to plea for anyone, everyone, just to keep searching. Tonight, in a story you'll see only on News 3, News 3 reporter Chelsea Donovan went along with Eric's brother as he scoured the ice-cold waters for any signs of Eric. On an overcast, brisk morning, day nine of the search begins. After a two-hour drive from Maryland, Kevin Mezik boards the Eric Thomas, a boat he just named after his brother. Most time, about nine hours will stay. He's steadfast and focused on recovering his brother's body. We've been concentrating over on fishermen. There's not a soul in sight as we traverse the massive bay near Cape Charles. At some points, glassy. Other times, we're confronting currents and crisp whitecaps. Sometimes you have to put a date to cut off, but I don't know. I, as of right now, I'm not stopping anything. Driving a dairy truck like this one, Eric plunged over the northern stretch of the CBBT last Tuesday morning. The guardrail still wide open, down 13.6 feet into the frigid waters. He'd been on a delivery to Virginia Beach, a 180-mile trip he made dozens of times. Nothing like this happens in the summertime. Scanning the water for Eric is arduous. His search area today, expansive. Only three miles of the 200 mile long estuary. I'll just stop for a minute so I can focus better. He says Eric was last seen in a white and pale blue uniform. It's like a needle in a haystack, you know, just how big this water is. Every bird, piece of driftwood, or rusted crab pot catches his eye. I do see something black there. Do you see it? Relying less on maps, but more on rays of hope. When you see stuff like that coming through the sky, is that right there? You know what I mean? You see, like, right there. You know, you're like, is he there? At times, even utilizing our cameras to zoom in for clarity. It's rounded at the top. Signs of Eric not surfacing here, but this week, parts of his truck were found near Fort Story. He says he's not stopping until he brings his brother, a dedicated father and husband of two, home. It's my brother, I mean. A family in seek of closure as they brave the brutal bay. On the Eastern Shore, Chelsea Donovan, News 3.